Hello and welcome to the first video in my Kerbal Space Program plugin tutorial series. In this series we'll be going through all the steps required to start building your own plugins in C Sharp. Through the course of the videos I'll be teaching the fundamentals of the C Sharp programming language, how it can be used with the existing KSP libraries and ultimately the Unity 3D engine of which KSP is built upon. In part 1 we will be going over the process of setting everything up. Now on to the big question, what will we be doing in this video? Ok so first things first, finding a development environment suitable for your needs. There are many to choose from and I will go over the main three. Starting with Microsoft Visual Studio which is my preferred and recommended integrated development environment. There is an express version that is completely free for non-commercial use, you can get it by going to microsoft.com forward slash express which will bring you to this page here. Click on the download button and it will list the various versions that are available. The one you want is for Windows Desktop and the first installation option. Download and run this installer and just follow the instructions to be up and running using Microsoft Visual Studio. Secondly there is MonoDevelop which is a popular free and open source integrated development environment. It will also run on multiple operating systems other than Windows. To get it just go to monodevelop.com and click the download now button. On this page you'll be required to select your operating system, note that with some operating systems such as Windows, MonoDevelop will require you to install some prerequisite packages first. Finally there is Sharp Develop which like MonoDevelop is free and open source. You can get it by going to icsharpcode.net, selecting Sharp Develop at the top, download and then download the setup file. As with all installations just follow the instructions and you'll be up and running in no time. Now that you have an installed development environment, it is time to do something with it. Let's start by creating an efficient Kerbal Space Program plugin testing environment. First we need to set up our Visual Studio project. Ok, first things first, I've got a blank folder here called Tutorials in my Projects folder. We'll be putting everything we do into here. Let's go into Visual Studio and New Project. We want a Visual C Sharp project called a Class Library. And let's call it uh, plugin tutorial and click OK. It will now create a blank project for us. Go into our tutorials folder and plugin tutorial. We now need to create a blank folder called output. In here we will need plugins and parts. Now everything in here is going to be transferred into the Kerbal Space Program game itself. Now let's go back into Visual Studio and right click on the project, go to properties and up here just change this to release. You can't do any debugging actually in KSP anyway so there's no point in that. Let's go to build and then for output path let's go browse and plug in tutorial, click on the output and then plugins. Let's select that folder, also advanced at the bottom, click that and change PDB only to none and click OK. Now if we go F6 to build the project, as you can see it has succeeded and it will have created our DLL file. OK and the next thing which needs to be done is you go to the kerbalspaceprogram.com website, go to the store and download the latest version of Kerbal Space Program. I have already done that and I've already got it downloaded. So what we will need to do now is in our tutorials directory just create another folder called uh, Kerbal Space Program and in here we will transfer all of this. Now that all of that is done Next part, if you wanted to, you could delete some of the parts in here. Ones which aren't really needed, such as structural beams, perhaps some of the solar panels and things like that, which will increase the speed of the loading up of the game each time you want to test something to do with your plugin. And now that you've got all of your Kerbal Space Program games set up how you'd like for testing, we will now create a batch file which will help test and make it much faster for loading the game. You will need to now go to notepad 
and start typing in. So at echo off, let's set our source equal to, so we don't need that. So it's in tutorials and we called it plugin tutorial and we need the output directory in there so that will be perfect and then we need to set our destination equal to um, basically here which we have got our Kerbal Space Program game um, after doing that we will need to do an X copy from source to destination uh, with the arguments of D E C R I K and Y and what we'll now need to do is call KSP dot XE and what we then have to do is save as uh, let's change the directory there, change this to all files and let's just call it tutorial plugin dot bat. Now that that has uh, been created what will happen when we run it is it's going to populate the um, parts and plugins folder which was in the output directory of our plugin into the game and then start up the game. So let's try it. So it has copied our plugin tutorial DLL as you can see, which will now be in plugins, plugin tutorial, and it has also started the game up. So that's the end of this part. I would like to thank you for taking time out to watch this video. If you found it informative, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more.